In the current New Orleans jazz scene, one band has become a symbol for tragedy and triumph, the Hot 8 Brass Band. having interest for it was like my first year in high school. I've been playing this instrument since I was 11 years old. About nine, 10. There's an age of like 14 and 15. 12, 13, 14, I was playing professional. Like around the fifth or the sixth grade. 13, when, when I really got into it. You just putting in work, trying to learn it, you know, we was practicing in the park, Shakespeare Park uptime. And you know, the more and more you practice at it, you get better. People were coming in, man, look, I come off from work every day, give me some coffees or whatever, come out, hang in the park and listen to y'all, man. Y'all been getting better. I remember y'all first started to learn that song there or whatever, you know, like that. Being 14, man, I mean, that's real young, you know. Talking about being out at the sandpiper, blowing your horn for a bunch of old folks out there, you know. from uptown to downtown, then we were doing West Bank, and so we were just slowly just locking up the city. Overcoming personal struggles. And then Jacob got murdered in the Calio. He was our first band member, passed away in 96. Jacob was tied up in duct tape and was shot in the head, like, you know, execution style murder. When he died, I believe he was like 16 or 17, but he was on it. He, was, he loved the music, man. Our second band member, DeMond Dawson, he had, he had died. He died of an um, overdose. He had some, took some cough syrup or something, man. But he had been drinking and the, and the medication and the alcohol didn't mix, so they found him collapsed in the kitchen. Then Joseph Williams. We had a band member that was shot and killed by the New Orleans Police Department. They unloaded on the car and Joseph was hit like 11 times. All they found in the, in the, in the truck was his trombone, his home. He was unarmed. Cops killed him. He just gone. And, and nothing could be done about it. I'm the Neville Dick Shaver Sr., Hattie Brass Band. Been a part of the band for going on 11 years now. I'm a snare drummer, percussionist, one of the best in the world. Believe it. I tried a, I tried a lot of stuff. Believe it or not. I was a school teacher. I picked up dead bodies and worked for a car in office. I was a police <laughs> for three years. Um, man, the shame I'm about, about to be 25, man, I've done a lot. I've done a lot for my age. A whole lot. And then now De Niro, some little young knucklehead killed him. Somebody didn't put some hoodoo on us or something. What is what's happening? Cause I'm knowing like all of some good people. I'm knowing. We had just finished playing with the number like maybe an hour to an hour and a half before before he got murdered. But I'm not running no illegal operation and no type of operation where this should be the outcome. It ain't like there's no drug pens. Cause if it was like we were some type of mob gang or some type of, you know, some dope dealer type cartel type thing, it wouldn't be nothing to me. I would expect it. You know, we get a call that, you know, Berger had gotten an accident. You know, first it's like, is he dead? We got out. Cocaine. Shit. All the bad happened. 
So it's time for the good stuff, you know? Their fight for social change. Preserving the culture of New Orleans brass bands. This is the story of the Hot 8 Brass Band.